I weirdly get a lot of questions about my hair care routine. Hair is everything. And I also weirdly get a lot of questions about home equity lines of credit, AKA HELOCs. Coincidence? I think, yeah, I, I don't think there's any correlation there, to be honest. Now at face value, I understand the appeal of a HELOC, much like the appeal of a good quaff. If someone has a big expense coming up and they don't have enough savings to cover it, they look at a home equity line of credit or HELOC to be their Superman and supply them the cash for the job. Hello, I'll be on my way. <laughs> But is tapping into your home like a piggy bank really the answer to your problems? And could it hurt your finances more than help? And what in the HELOC is even a HELOC? Huh? We're gonna get into what you need to know about the old HELOC nest monster, but before we do, you're gonna hit that like, subscribe, and share, and you're gonna like it, mister. You'll eat it and like it! Thank you. All right, first, let's cover our bases. What is a home equity line of credit? Well, it's a type of home equity loan that allows you to borrow cash against the value of your home. So basically, you take money away from the portion of your home you own outright, and then be able to use that money kind of like a credit card. But that's not the only way a HELOC is similar to a credit card. You see, HELOCs also use a revolving credit line, which means that as you pay back what you borrowed, the amount you've paid back becomes available again for you to spend. Also, the same way people rationalize having a credit card in case of emergency, they also rationalize taking out a HELOC as some kind of financial parachute for the what ifs of life and emergency scenarios. But here's the thing. Because HELOCs are a secure debt, they have a lower interest rate than credit cards. And HELOCers love that. They love that lower interest rate almost as much as boomers love saying Chipotle. Stop, it's not Chipotle, it's not Chipotle, it's not Chipotle, it's Chipotle, Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. You know what, it's not even real Mexican food, so who gives a rip? Chipotle is fine. Anywho, what HELOCers are failing to see is that secure debt just means that the lender can use your home as collateral. You catch that? A HELOC takes the part of your home that you own and gives it to the bank as collateral. Meaning if you don't pay back that HELOC perfectly, your lender can foreclose on you and snatch that charming little breakfast nook right out from under your egg scramble. But you're not thinking about your eggs when HELOCs look like a good idea in the beginning. You're just thinking, I don't have the cash to buy a bigger home for my growing family, so I'll get a HELOC to pay for an addition to my current home. Or I want this credit card debt out of my life, understandably, so maybe I can just shuffle it over onto a HELOC instead. Or I'm convinced I can get rich by opening a Harry Potter-themed food truck called the Chocolate Frog, so I'll get a HELOC to get this business up and running. Are you getting the idea? Other common reasons people turn to HELOC include things like retirement expenses, vacation, installing a pool, home renovations, paying for college tuition, paying for weddings, using it to start a business, and the list goes on. And I get why it's tempting. Don't tempt me, photo. With the cost of living, inflation, your lifestyle, it is hard to keep up financially. And so using this HELOC feels like you're just borrowing your own Monopoly money, which explains why they're one of the hottest summer trends right up there with Barbie and Pub Subs. If you know, you know. We're eating Publix chicken tender subs for the entire day. So which Pub Sub is gonna get the Pub Dub? Last year, the number of overall HELOCs increased, as did the balance of the loans, which was actually a reversal of a 10-year trend in the opposite direction. And while it makes sense given inflation and the crazy real estate market, the problem remains that a HELOC is still debt with your home as ransom. So now the lender's like, pay the payments, man, or the house is ours. And the house is like, dude, just do whatever he says. I don't wanna go down like this. I'm just an innocent house. And that right there was a scene from my upcoming one-man off-Broadway show called Home is Where the HELOC Isn't. If we get enough YouTube comments, maybe we'll take this thing full Broadway, on Broadway. With HELOCs, you still end up paying for the expensive thing you wanted to avoid paying for, plus thousands of extra dollars in interest while putting your home at risk. And that's not even the worst of it. HELOCs come with a whole lot of bogus fees, like transaction fees, which pop up every time you borrow from your HELOC, minimum withdrawal fees, AKA what they charge when you don't borrow enough money, inactivity fees for when you haven't used your HELOC as often as the bank would like, early termination fees for when you want to get rid of your HELOC early. And at this point, it wouldn't shock me if they just threw in an extra one, maybe a, a finder's fee for when you find out that you got screwed by taking out a HELOC. <laughs> And to make things even more stressful, your debt could be called in when you don't have the money to pay it off. I mean, you could be slurping up shrimps on your sandals vacation, and boom, you got 30 days to pay this bad boy off. Oh, and another thing that makes HELOCs the worst, they have a variable interest rate, meaning your rate can increase in any given month, often linked to the prime rate index, which is what banks charge each other for loans. So while you think a HELOC equals margin and freedom and easy money, it's really more like an 8,000 pound gorilla chilling on your back and combing bugs out of your hair for a little aperitif. Don't believe me? Here's one Redditor's story. HELOC loan crushing us. 
my husband and I decided to put an addition on our house. We did research on HELOCs and found the monthly payments to be manageable at the time. Since then, the payments have doubled to the point in which we are paying over $1,000 a month on just the loan and 100% of it goes toward interest. I feel like these payments are eating us alive. This is a dark situation. So what do I tell people to do with HELOCs? Pay them off. No more shortcuts, no more transferring debt around, get aggressive, increase your income, decrease your expenses, and aggressively attack that HELOC until it is out of your life forever and never do it again. So listen, if you're still wondering if HELOC is the answer to your cash flow problem, let me spell it out as clearly as possible as to why it's not the stress-free solution you're desperate for. Number one, HELOCs put your home at risk. Just because HELOCs seem like a no-brainer doesn't mean they don't carry serious consequences. If you default or misstep in any way, the bank could take your home. Let me ask you this, is the West Elm Rattan bedroom set really worth losing the entire house for? No, absolutely not. Number two, HELOCs don't really create cash flow. Plain and simple, a HELOC is debt, and debt doesn't make anything flow but a salty stream of tears. <laughs> The best way to actually create cash flow is to pay off all of your debt, increase your income, and find margin in your budget. And over time, with a little thing called delayed gratification and some savings muscle, you can afford the home improvements, the college tuition, the kid's wedding, or just decide to lower your expectations and not spend six figures on any of that stuff. The truth is, HELOCs keep people broke by making them think they've solved the problem when all they did is move debt from one pile to another. And taking on debt of any kind robs you of financial peace. When you your head on your pillow at night, what would you rather be thinking about? Planning a toga party in your paid-for kitchen? You know what we gotta do? Toga, toga party. Or making inflated payments on your marble countertops for the next 30 years. And listen, I know that saving up and paying cash for these big expenses takes a little more time and a lot more discipline, but it is way more peaceful and way smarter in the long run. So bottom line, tapping into your home equity is not the move. And taking out more debt to pay off debt sounds insane because it is insane. So avoid HELOCs like dysentery on the Oregon Trail. We know what happened to those people. They played the game. Now, if you want to learn about how to do home ownership the right way, check out the Ramsey Real Estate Hub. It is filled with tools and articles that steer you away from traps that make your home a burden and help you make decisions that keep it a blessing. I'll link that below if you want to check it out. And if you want to keep this toga party going, toga, 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 toga. drop a comment with your take on HELOCs or any other real estate questions you might have. And make sure to share this video with your friend who's currently measuring their lawn dimensions for an in-ground pool. Don't do it. It's a trap. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.